In this video, we're going to be talking about how to choose the right size hook based on the size of the soft plastic that you're rigging them on. This seems to be a popular question lately. You know, if I'm using a three and a half inch bait or a four inch bait, what size hook should I use with those baits? And there's a general rule of thumb that I like to go with that will definitely help you out that I wanna share with you in this video. Now, when you get to the end of this video, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a like. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel where we put out fishing tips pretty much on a daily basis to help you catch more fish. So as far as the sizing goes, now I have some hooks here that are weighted that really doesn't affect the size. These are just some hooks that I had on hand that I like to use and I want to talk about the size uh, specifically in this video. So the general rule of thumb that I go with is to match the number as far as the size goes on the hook to the uh, length and in inches of the bait. So for example, if you're throwing a three inch um, bait such as a Slam Shady, the Z-Man Slam Shady uh, Minnow Z, I like to go with a three aught hook. So again, three inch bait, three aught hook. Same thing with a four inch bait, four inch bait, four aught hook, five inch bait, five aught hook. So that is the general rule of thumb that I like to go with when pairing my hooks to my soft plastics. Now, as far as some considerations that you wanna be mindful of, when you start getting to the smaller end of the spectrum, like the really small baits, you know, two inch, uh, paddle tails or even uh, minnow type of Im imitations. I like to go with a one knot hook. Uh, I really don't throw any bait smaller than two inches. In that case, you may need a fly rod. But if you have a bait that's really small, like in that two inch range, go with a one knot hook. If you go too big, it may hinder the action of that bait. So that's just something you have to consider is just to make sure that hook doesn't hinder the action. And what I mean by that is you don't want to go too big on a hook on a small bait. So for example, like this 5 aught wide gap hook, I would not put this on a 3 inch bait because as you can see there, that hook would basically be right in the middle of the tail section and that would affect the action. So you don't want to do that. And then you also don't want to go too small on a hook on a big bait. So for example, like a three aught hook on a five inch bait may be a little bit too small because it's too far up on the body. So if a fish goes to strike your lure, it may miss that hook. So it may just grab the back end of the bait or towards the middle and you'll miss that hook set because the hook is too far up on the body of the lure. So if anything, go a little bit bigger, make sure that hook is close to the center of the body as possible. You don't want it too far up and you don't want it too far back. So size appropriately. Now, one last consideration that I wanna talk about are soft plastics that happen to be in between on sizes. So for example, like a three and a half inch bait or a four and a half inch bait or a three and three quarter inch bait. If it's a number in between, I like to round down to the hook size. So three and a half inch bait, or if it's between three to four inches, I'll go with a three aught. Uh, four to five inch bait, I'll go with a four aught. Five to six inch bait, I'll go with that five aught. So go with the lower number. So hopefully this tip can help you out if you are trying to decide what size hook to put on your soft plastic. Again, just size that hook to the size of your bait. And another thing is I use the same uh, rule of thumb if I'm using live bait. So if I'm using like a four inch mullet, I'll go with a four aught circle hook or a four aught J hook. Uh, same thing applies when I'm using live bait. So if you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips that you would like to share with us as far as what you like to do when sizing your hooks to your bait, definitely let us know down below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.